Namaskar, I am Rupa Kulkarni from Bombay, India and I am I play the Bansuri which is which is known everywhere in the universe. As you know in India we have two types of Shastriya Sangeet that is classical music. One is North Indian, the other is South Indian or Carnatic. North Indian music is mostly played in the northern part of India. It is known as Uttar Hindustani Sangeet and Carnatic Sangeet, which is south, which is played in South India, the southern part of India is known as South Indian music or Carnatic music. So basically I am a North Indian musician, I play Basuri. I think Basuri is known since ages. This is the most ancient and a prime instrument in Indian culture. As you know Bhagavan Sri Krishna invented or made this Basuri and I am very thankful to him because he has made such an instrument which doesn't need anything except the breath. You can, you can see there is no strings, no skin, nothing. You don't have to keep anybody to do this. This is the most natural instrument and I think this is the most cheapest instrument in the world. And just check a bamboo, cut it, make the holes and play it. This is so simple to make, but it's not easy to play that much because if you can practice on this, you can, you can gain the mastery on the instrument. Bansuri has so many variations, you know. I mean, you must have seen Bansuri in almost all parts of the world, everywhere in the world, maybe in different forms. But today I'm going to explain about this Bansuri which is a hollow piece of bamboo, nothing inside, just one side is blocked with a cork, this is a mouthpiece from where we blow, and these are six holes where we put the fingers and produce the sur or notes. Uh, now Basuri, why it is called Basuri? In Hindi Basuri means the bans which produces the sur, bans means bamboo, Sur so means the notes. So the notes which are produced from the bamboo is known as Bansuri. And Bansuri has different names. Uh, some call it Pavi. Pavi is small or murli, which you see in the hands of Sri Krishna. And the other thing is, uh, this is very unique instrument, you know. I mean, uh, you can play in this way or this way. If you are writing, you can play in the right hand. The left hand is up, the right hand is down. It's writing. And if you are playing lefty, the right hand is up and the left hand is down. So you don't have to make like if you want to play guitar. If somebody is lefty, he has to make guitar for him. But for basri, there is nothing. You can just play from either sides. Only thing you have to make some minor adjustments in jawari. If you are playing righty, you have to make a jawari this side. And if you are lefty, you have to make jawari opposite side. And if you can make jawari both sides, you can, anybody can play this instrument. So this is very simple instrument, very easy to carry. And I don't know how I started this bansuri playing because when I was very young, I just heard the sound of bansuri from the great master of Hari Prasad Chaurasiya. He eventually he became my guru 
and I think uh, he's uh, such a guru that uh, I wish uh, everybody should get a guru like this because uh, one thing he did was he never uh, treated me like his student, he treated me like I was his son and he, he took me everywhere with him wherever he went and it was like a new modern way of Guru Shishya Parampara like in uh, ancient times Shishya used to stay with Guru, do his seva and then Guru used to teach free of charge same like that, I used to do his seva he taught me free of charge, he never charged any money for me so I'm very grateful to him and of course the level he has taken Basri to such an extent that uh, I think it's very difficult to sustain for others but Basri is made by the God so it has a never ending life it, it will never die now I will show you how to hold the Basri and how to produce a suit right hand but I would like to introduce my student disciple who is learning from me since he was I think five or six years old now since 10 years he is with me and he is he plays the left hand basri so Varad can you play is you need a dedication, devotion and respect to the elders. You have to obey your Guru, whatever he says you have to obey him. Then you achieve a certain extent of performance or awareness in your life. So this is not only for Basri, for any other uh, profession, any other music. And you have to keep listening different genres of music, different kinds of music. If you are a, if you are a flutist, you have to listen the sitar, the sarod, the vocal. And if you are a vocalist, you have to at least know how to play the percussions or tabla. And if you are a sitarist, you have to listen vocal. So basically, in any instrument, we, we try to imitate the vocal portion. So because the seven notes are same in any kind of music, and we, we, we want to just reproduce what the voice can sing. And I think uh, Bansuri is the most nearest to the voice because voice comes from here, comes out and also the, the point comes from here. So only thing is we, we are going to have words but we have su which we can produce through the Bansuri. types of flutes. See, uh, you, you, you must be seeing these different sizes of flute. But uh, let me tell you that Basri or the flute is, you can found in each and every part of the world. Like in USA or in Europe, you can, you, you can see the key flutes, which has the flute with the keys. In India, we have just a bamboo bamboo, and in Southeast, if you go to Japan or China, they have sakuhachi or Chinese flute. So in various forms you can find this instrument, which is very unique. Now I come to the size or the types of flutes. Uh, the one which I'm, I'm having is uh, around 10 inches, but uh, this is in A. But the one you can find is also in F, which is around 6 inch, this small. And the uh, holes are same, like 1 plus 6, 7. And the one, this one is in D, which is uh, around 32 to 34 inches. 
But you can find the bigger one also is in B. So it normally goes to 37 inches. And the one which we use for the concert is this E, E Bansuri. This is around 30 inches. Now the second position. As you can see, this is a natural normal position which we say this is a Sahaj Asana. You have to just sit upright. show you the fingering techniques the fingering depends on your physique I mean you have to think how your body is how your physique is how your fingers are so according to your fingers you have to think and give up your own fingering technique like the great like Pannabaru he used to he had a very long fingers so he used to hold the Basri like this on the tips there is a myth that uh, he had to cut his fingers and to hold the basri, but it's not true. And even my guru Pandit Haripasa Chirasiya, he has uh, long fingers, but his way of technique, finger technique is like this. Uh, I think this is a very sophisticated and very natural and very uh, easiest way to hold the instrument because just you take the flute and play. You don't have to adjust anything here or in the fingers. So this was the right hand side fingering techniques. Like the first upper ones, you have to hold, close the holes with this. And the third one is this, the tip. Same for this right hand. Like And with these thumbs, you get a nice grip and you can play it very easily. And your head should be not like this or this like this, just naturally. And also, <coughs> if the basuri is small, you can use same, like same like this. You don't have to change your fingering. So for lefty, I asked Bharat to play, show the technique for the fingering. It's the same, it's a like mirror image, you can see. pitch in concert we play in E. This is E Vasari. But uh, if you are younger than say age of 9, I think uh, to start playing flute is uh, the appropriate age to begin to start flute is around 8 to 9 years because you have some power to blow. So that age you can start playing with the C sharp flute like this size or even the smaller one. But when you grow older to second, fourteen years, you can shift to G sharp or E, like or G, this flute. And once you are a major or uh, 17, 18 years, then you can start this with the E, e flute. The reason to play this E in the concert is that in this bansuri we can get a very good bass notes and also very good high notes. If we play F, we cannot get that much nice bass which we can get in E, but we can get a good high octave. And if we get a D one like this, the down one, one of down to the E, we can get nice B, uh, nice bass, but the higher octave is not that nice to listen. It doesn't sound that good. So I think uh, E is a perfect uh, pitch for the concert. 
And as you grow older, you know, and about 70, 75, then maybe you can start going up like F sharp or F. So you don't have to play much. You, have, you don't have to grow much. And uh, this is uh, E is, I think, the universal pitch uh, for bouncery. Uh, also, I think uh, in Western music they play the key flute, and it, uh, it is of it's of this size of G G side G note. But for Indian music, I think E is the best. And if you want to play the folk uh, folk tunes, then you have to go for the smaller ones like uh, G small or A. And also the pitch changes according to the size and length of the bassoon. The <coughs> uh, the more longer the bassoon, the more bass the sound. Like this is the given. This E. Now I go to one half of here up, one and a half notes up. That's G. This is G one. Feel that uh, as we go up, the the size of the mastery becomes small, and uh, the pitch also goes high. Now I move to C. Now I move to the D sharp one. The G one. The smallest one which I have in this is A one. Now you can imagine that with this. Uh, Small basuri, you can play a very nice folk tunes, and with this, even we can play a nice uh, raga. Now I will just uh, demonstrate a small piece of folk tune. the notes, the sur from the balsuri. So out of these six holes, if we close three, keep three open, we can get the sa, the main shuti, the main note. Now if we lift one 
finger. This is Re. Another one more finger up goes to Ga, Gandha. And all fingers up like a steel amount. Now if we close all the fingers. This is Pa. Now just one finger up from the gum. Two fingers up, four close. This is me, Misha, and the upper one. This two finger close, and we can get the upper sa, the high octave sa. So as you go from bass to high octave, you you have to go from the abdomen or stomach to the chest like this. So like this we can get two to two and a half octaves on the balsary. Now watch carefully how to play the sa the sargam, sari gama padani. This is sa. Three fingers close, three up. Now re. Now the fingers goes. This was pa. Now the. And ni. Upper sa. So this was ascending way. Now I show you the descending way. Arohi, now Arohi. Upper sa. Now ni. Now Dhaivat, Dha. Now Pancham, Pa. Now Tirama. Shudagra. Shudare. Sa. Now one thing, <coughs> when you are shifting from Sa to Re to Ga, you don't have to shift your position of the Go in here. Right? Not like this. Just through your breath, through your breathing and finger, you have to be coordinated in mind, body and soul in the fingers. Now this
this was fingering but before fingering comes the bowing so this is a mouthpiece we have very yard to go inside it not outside like no you can go too much increase also it should be a middle point you know and should not be very harsh not too soft but it should be like if you had something on your hand and you you like this it's like it should be soothing so how how soothing like this like you are requesting something somebody please do this like that not ordering or not you know just getting, going back so I, I, I asked her to demonstrate the point first and then the left hand fingering see <clears throat> the half home is closed half is open so when going it should be, should be like that half closed half open then you get a nice sound. If you do inside, it goes out of tune. And if you take too much outside, you will listen the blowing sound. That is not so good for the ears. So it should be in between and the air should go inside, in between the holes, the mouthpiece. Now where do you play sa? Re, Ga, Tirama, Pa, Dha, Mi, Sa. Now, Avahi. You have to sing from inside. If you don't sing from inside, you are just like playing a dead, like a dead man playing something. I mean, you cannot feel anything because Basri is so close to nature that you have to feel while playing it. If I blow this Basri, it can play, it can sound different, and if Varad plays, it can sound different. You can check this. Like I'm playing. Now this basri I am playing since 4 to 5 years, so after practicing on this 3-4 months continuously, I got used with this basri. Now what we play and you can find here the difference. See for him this the pitch is going a bit sharp because of his physique, his fingering and his blowing. So depends on how you blow. And if you if even if I play his basri, it may not sound that good. For me, when I am playing per, the per is a flag for me. So I have to adjust while playing his basri. So if you practice as much as you can, you can get tuned to the body can be get tuned with the basri and it will sound very nice. Now I'm going to show you the half notes that is common swaras. This is a quite difficult part in this basri playing. Because for half notes, you have to close half, or you can say open half finger. Like if you have to play the common Risham, 
Then this is the Risha and Kogam is half is, you have to close half more. Like this. Now, this is Sa. This is Shuddha Re. Now, Kogam Re, half Re. Like this. Sa Re. This is Kogam Re and this is Shuddha Re. So, Re, Re, Sa. Sa, Re, 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 Sa. Same, if you have, if you want to play a common ganda, half ganda. So this is Shuddha Ganda and goes half whole, it becomes common ganda. Ga, this is Shuddha Ga. This is Komanga. Now, <coughs> many of movies they open like this or this like this. But I think this is most natural. Now, you can just lift this finger naturally. Not like this or like this. Same for Ganda. Re, ga, ga. Re, Shuddha, Re, Komanga, Shuddha, Ga. Shuddhama. Shuddhama means the natural ma actually. So like this is ga, Shuddha ga, this is Tevama and this is Shuddhama. You have to open half finger of Gandhar, of ga. Now we move on to Dhaivat, Koma Dhaivat, because Sa and Pa are Achasu, we cannot change the Sa and Pa. So we move on to Dhaivat, Koma dha. So this is Shuddha Dhaivat, and if we close half, this is Koma Dhaivat. This is Shuddha Dhaivat. You can lift the finger like this naturally. <coughs> now we, we move on to the coma me. So this is Shuddha me, and if it was half finger, it's coma me. Shuddha me, coma me. I will show you all the Koma and Shuddha Swaras. for five years so now you show me how to play the Koma Su and Shuddha Su yeah so now you sh show the Shuddha Su again Sa Re now Koma Re Re Sa now Shuddha Ganda Koma Ganda Now Tirama, Shuddhama, 
macam with the blowing and fingering you just cannot cut the blowing Basuri, you don't need to do a separate yoga session. You just have a pranayam when you are playing the Basuri. So it's, uh, I think it's a very healthy instrument to play. Now uh, we come to the exercise. Actually exercise means the anankar or parkas which we can make our own according to our thinking. But for Vasari, you can play the same uh, exercise which we use for the singing. But you have to be in synchronization with the blowing and the fingering. So the basic perka is like that. I suggest to access, uh, make exercise like from the po, the lowest note of the basso like right? this po to higher po. So the basso gets used to your uh, blowing and your body. So Varat, you play this exercise from po to upper po. One uh, 
फेसबुक Sa ni da pa 
सारे exercise which is a must for everybody to practice this for half months
you have to feel each and every note from inside. as possible. in slow tempo is if you practice in slow tempo you get the notes the swaras perfectly you can hear the notes and you can feel it in the soul in the heart so you get used to the bansuri which you are playing and the bansuri is used to you and the perfect combination becomes a, a, a sur sur becomes perfect and it, after six months if, if you practice like that you'll be a perfectly tuned person. Now moving on to other exercises or basic lessons we can say. Uh, we have seen Shuddha Swaras, we have seen Half Notes, Koma Swaras. So if we mix, that is Shuddha and Koma Swaras. So I think we can take Raga Kafi, which has Ga and Ni, Gandha and Nishat Koma, Rishat Dhaivat, that is Re and Dha Shuddha. So, <clears throat> so Raga Kafi is like that. So 
in copy can we make your own yeah yeah Can you sing the notes? Yeah. Sing. Okay. In this, you can start from Pursa. Padami sa nida pama, 
in Basri, how it can be learned, the fingering, everything. From the beginning we saw the holding, how to handle the Basri, then how to blow, how the fingerings are, how to play the Shuddha Svara, the Koman Svara. We have seen the size of Basri, everything. Now it's upon you. If you practice very hard, minimum four to five hours in a day, each day, I am sure you will gain some uh, level to play the Basri and you can enjoy Basri if, if you listen. Not Basri, I mean, you can enjoy, enjoy the music because Basri is such a natural instrument. It is connected with your working life. You can you see these bamboos everywhere. So if you can play Basri properly, you can enjoy any kind of music. And the only thing to success is Riyaz, practice. The more you practice, the more you get perfection in this instrument, in any instrument, in any music or in anything. I'm very thankful to Super Audio, who have given me the opportunity to present this uh, demonstration for basic. And I hope uh, once you have done basic, I will come back with the advanced techniques of the passer. Thank you very much. in concert pattern. There are many ways, I mean, depends on the time, what time you are going to play, how many minutes you are going to play. You have to adjust accordingly. So now I'm just going to demonstrate some, a bit of that. So I, I will be playing Raga Yaman. I get this Raga because this is 
uh, universally among raga in and also in mark and south indian music we know this raga so raga yaman or raga kandani the notes are you have to begin like a prayer like a praying to the god so you have to just be in, be in yourself and just think of the god ma saraswati and begin the concert <clears throat>
Thank you.